Thank you for choosing the Super Spreader Cast Net. This video will show the different parts of a cast net and the basic step-by-step -step instructions for properly and easily throwing both small and large cast nets. We'll then walk you through loading, casting, retrieving, and unloading your cast net. At the end of the video, we'll cover some storage and troubleshooting tips. Since fishing laws vary widely from state to state, please check your local regulations to ensure that net fishing is legal in your area. The link between you and your cast net is the hand line. This rope attaches to your wrist on one end with a hand loop and to the braille lines on the other end. The braille lines pass through the center of the net called the horn and attach to the lead line at the bottom of the net. When the throw line is pulled, the lead line is drawn up to the horn, trapping the bait in the surrounding net. Cinch the rope around your right wrist and coil the rope into your throwing hand. Hold the net by your side, resting the weights on the ground, and grasp the net with your throwing hand at pocket height. Grasp the lead line with your free hand at a position straight down from the end of your right thumb and place between your thumb and forefinger of your right hand. Grasp the lead line with your free hand at a position about one arm's length from your other hand and hold up near your chest. This will hold the net one quarter open as shown. Rotate your body back to the right one quarter turn and immediately rotate back to your left releasing the net in the direction of your target. The net should hit the water in a circular form. Let the net sink to the desired depth and pull on the throw line to close the net. Grasp the horn and release the throw line to empty the net into a bucket or bait well. Illustrations shown are for right-handed throwing. To throw left-handed, simply follow the directions using your left hand. Instructions and illustrations here are for right-handers. Simply reverse your hands and sides to throw left-handed. Cinch the rope around your left wrist and coil the hand line into your left hand. Grab the net with your left hand just below the horn. Extend your left arm and grab the net again at pocket height with your right hand. Transfer the net back into your left hand. At this point, all of the net should be in your left hand with the lead line just above the ground. Reach down from where your left thumb and forefinger meet and divide the net in half. At this point, you should have the hand line, the horn, half of the net in your left hand, and half of the net in your right hand. Roll the half of the net in your right hand over your left thumb and release. You now have two clumps of lead line at the bottom of the net. A high clump over your thumb and a low clump hanging from your left hand. Grab the lead line with your right hand where the high and the low clumps of lead line meet and place it gently in your front teeth. Be careful not to put the lead itself in your teeth, only the rope between the leads. Reach down with your right hand and pick up the lead line hanging from your teeth with your thumb and forefinger. Turn your right palm up, bringing it up near your left hand, and fold the netting over your left thumb back into your right hand. Both of your hands should be somewhat close together and palms up. You're now loaded and ready to throw at this point. Stand facing left of your target. Keeping both of your hands together, simultaneously rotate your body and hands 90 degrees to your left. Without stopping, immediately rotate back toward your target in one smooth, continuous motion. Be sure to keep your arms outstretched. Release the net at a slight upward angle in the direction of your target. Don't forget to open your mouth to release the lead line. The net should open into a circular form. Pull on the throw line to close the net at the desired depth. To dump your bait, simply hold over a bucket or bait well and pick up the horn of the net and release the hand line. The bait should fall out the bottom of the net. For extra large nets, it's a good idea to leave the net in the water along the side of the boat and extend the horn about halfway up the braille lines, shaking the bait fish down toward the bottom of the net. This will make it much easier to remove the bait once inside the boat. Your cast net can be used from the bank, boat, dock, pier, or even a bridge. 
throwing from a boat or bridge can be particularly hazardous. Always be sure to have a firm foothold. Some cast netters have followed their nets into the water due to a slippery or shaky surface. Never tie the throw line tightly to your wrist. In the event that your net becomes tangled in fast current, or you catch something stronger than you are, you want to be able to slip the throw line off of your wrist with ease. Remember, the throw line will float, so you can go back and retrieve it later. Now I'm going to give you a couple of hints on caring for your cast net. It's a good idea when you're finished to rinse your net with fresh water and hang it by the horn with the lead lines just touching the ground. This will allow your net to dry in the shade without stretching the knots or the mesh. And it's also a good idea to store your cast net in a five gallon bucket with a lid. This will keep your cast net out of, out of the sun and also keep it away from mice and other pests. If you find that your net is not opening properly, check for each of the following. Smooth continuous rotation, fully outstretched arms, tangled braille lines, premature or late release of the net, tangled throw line, overpowering the net. Thanks again for buying a super spreader cast net. With care, a super spreader cast net will last a long time and be a valuable resource for the time you spend fishing.